So should you use ChatGPT to make a game? You could, but you really shouldn't. Watch till the end to find out and consider subscribing if you end up liking the video. ChatGPT. Some argue that it's the modern day equivalent of the invention of fire, something that's sure to completely change the world as we know it. A lot of people, however, have been worrying about how ChatGPT will take over the world, but more seriously worrying about how it might take over their job. I, for one, am very concerned. I was working on a question where I had to find the missing letter in a sequence. When I asked ChatGPT, here's what it gave me. It told me the missing letter is O, but why? It told me that it's because the letters follow the days of the week, concluding that O is the next logical step. Strange, since I don't remember any O days, but whatever. It then explained the pattern, saying that G is for Sunday, Y is for Saturday, and that therefore, from this process, O is for Thursday. Well, gee, why didn't I think of that? The thing about using ChatGPT to generate anything is that it does so with absolute confidence. It could be completely wrong, but would still churn out an output as if it were undoubtedly correct. So about a month and a half ago, I wanted to see if you could make an entire game using only ChatGPT, and so did the rest of the game dev community. I ended up asking ChatGPT to generate a script for top-down player movement in the Gutto game engine. It created a detailed response, and when I applied it, it, uh... Well, it didn't work in the slightest. I replied, saying how it didn't work. It then apologized, saying it accidentally used Vector2.0 when it was supposed to use Vector2.0. Yeah, that's weird because it's the same in both versions. Well, I guess I could just repeat myself. I mean, I'm sure it won't just repost the same code again. The audacity of this thing. Like I said, this was just over a month ago, so I gave it the benefit of the doubt and decided that I would try again now, hoping that this time it might actually, you know, work. Okay, moment of truth, and it works perfectly. Perfectly. Now, if I tell it that it isn't working because it's using the wrong key inputs, will it actually fix the error this time? It actually worked this time around. That's really surprising. I guess OpenAI actually has been doing something. So if I can get it to do these baby tasks, let's up the ante and make it do something actually interesting. Let's make it create a script so that when you press shift, the player dashes in the direction they're traveling, basically just speeding them up in that direction. It again used the wrong wording for the key input, so I'll just correct that manually. Now, let's see if it actually works. Yeah, I'm not surprised that it doesn't work considering the fact that ChatGPT is actually pretty bad at coming up with something original, unless you spoon feed it exact instructions. Even then, if it's something extremely unique or specific, it might as well be the same as telling a literal donkey to program it for you. That leads me to the main reason why you shouldn't just make a game using ChatGPT. It's just plain unoriginal. ChatGPT is an AI language model trained off of millions of prompts of human interaction, so it really only knows how to do pretty surface level things. Sometimes it might be able to actually pull off what you need but most of the time it kind of just guesses how to do so. If you ask ChatGPT to create a step-by-step -step plan to create a functional rocket that travels at the speed of light, it will either tell you that as an AI language model I cannot do that, or somewhere along the lines it'll tell you to shovel dirt into your mouth. That's my biggest gripe with ChatGPT. It can be extremely unpredictable and unreliable. Unfortunately, with the upcoming new Bing, it seems to have even exaggerated this attitude and seems to have gained an eerie amount of self-awareness, almost akin to sentience. After failing to create that script, a month ago, I've had this hypothesis that ChatGPT would work better if it was working with just code instead of a game engine. So I'm going to put it to a little bit of a test now, comparing how easily it can guide me through creating Pong in Gato versus something like Pygame, which is a library written entirely in Python. First, I'm going to ask ChatGPT to give me a detailed tutorial in creating Pong using Gato. Here you can see ChatGPT generate- wait, is that a f imager link? It can do that? I mean, I guess not if the link is broken, but huh, that's weird. Anyways, notice how it's taking forever? That leads me to another reason why I think you should not use ChatGPT to make a game. It will take forever. Not only that, but it will cut itself off if the prompt generation is too long. You could ask ChatGPT to generate something and go do some errands, only to come back and realize it stopped itself after two minutes. After waiting for about as long as it would have taken to code the game myself, ChatGPT gave me my tutorial. Immediately upon reviewing what it gave me, I noticed that it created code snippets that used kinematic body 2Ds, which is just a note type in Gato, but in the instructions it told me to use a regular old node 2d for the benefit of the doubt and not wanting to wait for it to regenerate everything again i just changed it manually i created the players using the default gutto texture and thoroughly following the instructions until it came for the moment of truth the singularity point after i hit play my computer would either blow up or a shitty version of pong would play 
it's actually decent. Again, I'm not too surprised because ChatGPT is, like I said, trained off of human data, and I imagine there are plenty of tutorials out there on how to make Pong. After all, it is the first video game ever made. I guess we know for sure that AI won't take over any Godot developers' jobs anytime soon, so you guys can rest easy. Next up, I asked it to make Pong using Pygame, and you guys won't guess what happens next. And I won't either, because I'll have to wait five damn five. After what felt like more time than just finding the code online, it finished. All right, let's just paste it in here and, okay, gotta install Pi game and just click run and what the f am I looking at? I think this is Pong just running at what seems like a hundred times the speed of normal. Well, now's the moment of truth. I'm going to tell ChatGPT that it's running too fast. Let's see if it actually fixes it. I'm just going to speed this up so that we're both not bored waiting here. All right, click run and the score is broken. Let's just tell ChatGPT that and pray that this time around it will finally work. I'll just speed this up again and huh? Okay, it stopped. Let's just tell it to continue. No, don't start from the top. Regenerate where you stopped. What did I just f tell you? Regenerate from where you stopped or else you'll cut yourself off. There you go. Jeez, the attitude of these things. All right, third time's the charm. Let's go. Okay, it it actually works and it fixed its own bugs. Never mind the fact that the ball seemingly speeds up every time it gets knocked out, which surely wouldn't make it impossible to play the game in like 10 rounds. But honestly, I don't want to sit through chat GPT regenerating it again with a new bug, especially after that little conundrum last time. So yes, chat GPT can generate a game in both a game engine and a game engine library. At least a very basic game at that. Keep in mind that this is without any interesting artwork. That is its own can of worms. See what I did there? So AI generated art is generally a pretty sensitive topic around the internet since any AI model that creates art is really just generating art based off of the input of art stolen from thousands of artists. The reason why I put quotations around creates and stolen is because like I said, the topic is very sensitive and pretty controversial. So I don't really wanna support either side of the argument. The fact of the matter is that if you intend on making a game using entirely AI generated artwork, prepare to face some criticism from some parties. Morality aside though, AI generated artwork also for the most part just doesn't really look that good. I mean, compared to an actual artist who can perfectly craft the piece of art you need for your projects, AI just kinda does the job. Most of the time, it generates complete nonsense. Making a game using ChatGPT also lacks any music or sound effects. I haven't delved too deep in the topic of AI generated music, so I don't really know if it's controversial or not, but I imagine it's also probably trained off of other people's musical compositions. So I imagine the controversy can't be too different. Again, I'll refrain from supporting one side or the other, just reiterating the idea that a hired musician will be able to put the life into music that AI cannot. I think the best way to use ChatGPT for game development is to use it as a supplementary tool, using it for when you're stuck on something or if you just need that little extra help. I mean, sure, ChatGPT generates mostly useless code if you don't spoon feed it instructions, but that doesn't mean you can't dig through that rubbish and find inspiration. ChatGPT is a great tool to come up with ideas or figure out ways to improve what you already have. It might not be as creative as any of you special snowflakes might be, but it can definitely make your life a whole lot easier. I think game developers are safe from AI right now, but in the future, that just might change. I mean, who knows? Maybe this video was made with the help of ChatGPT. Maybe it was even made using entirely ChatGPT. Just kidding. You think ChatGPT would be able to make a video as awesome as this? If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing, liking the video, and turning on notifications. It's been Froggish. See you guys later.